castanhas. Castanhas assadas. Mm -hmm. Just break it. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to break. Okay. Sometimes they are not good and then you just eat it. You just pop it in your mouth? Yeah. Is it good? No. Yeah. It's probably very filling too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So there was a lot more I wanted to show you of um, Evora, but um, I was having complications with my phone today for some reason. My videos weren't uploading, my, my previous one wasn't uploading, and I had to try to separate it in two parts to try to upload it because it said my phone didn't have memory. I don't know, just all of this crap. And I um, was afraid of filming too much on my uh, phone today to... Um, that would complicate that process even more. Um, so I tried to get what I could today. Um, I miss scenes from cooking dinner with uh, my friend and having our talks with her dad. He's really nice, a nice, funny guy. He's awesome. Um, but anyway, um, it's quarter to four in the morning and I am desperately trying to figure out how I'm gonna leave Evora tomorrow. Um, because it's a really small town and I need to go towards Spain and I'm not sure if it'll be very easy to try to get out of here and go in that direction. I want to try to get to Sevilla by tomorrow evening. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hitch a ride on Blah Blah Car, which is a site you can use to pay like a cheaper fare to get from one place to another. Um, so I think I'm going to try to do that. I see that there's a woman going in that direction where I'm going to go. So hopefully I can go with her tomorrow. And then from there, um, hitch a ride the rest of the way to Sevilla. And I'm also trying to figure out about accommodation because I don't really have contacts in Spain. So I'm on couch surfing, trying to find somewhere to stay, sending all of these messages to people in Sevilla and Granada, which is where I plan on staying. And um, now I'm about to send messages to people in Madrid and um, Barcelona because I haven't had time the last few days to uh, send any messages on couch surfing to see about where I'm going to stay. So I'm desperately like trying to find somewhere to stay now. And anyway, um, we'll see what happens. I think um, to save time, I'm going to start maybe paying for some of my rides, either through Blah Blah Car or... Um, probably using like um, 
local bus lines or something in the area. I took a bus to come to Evora. It was like 12 euro 50 and stuff, but I, I left uh, Lisbon really late at night and I wasn't about to try to hitch a ride there. And plus I had walked, I walked almost 25 kilometers the day I explored Lisbon. That's like a lot. <laughs> I have, I don't think I've ever walked that much in my life. And, um, so yeah, to save time because I have a bit of a deadline, I need to get back to Belgium in time for the baptism of the children that I took care of. So, you know, like I experienced while going to Germany, sometimes you're lucky and you get to your destination pretty quickly and other times you're just gonna take all damn day to get there. So in order to try to save time, I'm just gonna see like when I can hitch and when I have to pay for a ride. And hopefully if I can find places to stay for free through couch surfing, then I don't mind paying for my transportation so much. But anyway, um, that's it for you guys, for, for this video. Um, hopefully tomorrow before I leave, if I can get this ride confirmed with this woman, um, then maybe I can explore the city a little bit more because there are these really, really cool Roman ruins here, but I couldn't film it because it was too late by the time I got there, so you couldn't see it on my phone. But, um, hopefully I can explore the city a little bit more and catch a few more images of Evora before actually leaving. And, um, what else? I will try to post as often as possible. And thank you so much for watching and for the comments, for the lovely people that have been commenting on my, um, uh, my videos. Um, and also, um, to one of my followers on Facebook, um, this really nice woman, I can't remember her name right now, and <laughs> the computer is not on, uh, is not on my page right now, but, um, you know who you are. <laughs> and I thank you so much for asking to see if I was okay because of the whole like Paris attacks and stuff. Um, let me look up your name right now because I feel bad now. Crap. Now I have to get out of my page and stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. So big shout out to Rosa. Um, thank you for asking if I was okay. I was not in France, nowhere near France at the time of the attacks. So I'm fine. So nothing happened to me. Don't know what's going to happen when I actually go through France, but I guess we'll have to just wait and see. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the images I showed you of Evora. It's a really, really lovely small town here. I really liked it a lot. And um, I've had a great experience in Portugal, but I'll talk more about that tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a like. Um, leave me some comments. And um, if you have something to say. <laughs> and um, if you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe if you want to see more videos about my adventures in Europe or tips in Peru. So anyway, thanks again. Take care. Bye.